makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I'm so excited for this video because we're going to be playing with the new Cosmic Chameleon Shadows from Terra Moons Cosmetics. These look so beautiful. I have these six shades in my little Davina Z palette here and I did play with two of them on the eyes today so there will be a demo at the end of this video so you can see how I got this eye look. And then my cheeks and my lips just to give you the finishing touches as I always do. So I thought we would go ahead and just do a quick little swatch party of these shadows because they look so beautiful and I cannot wait to touch them. I really really love Terra Moons. I'm a huge fan of their quality. I am absolutely obsessed with their other chameleon shadows that they have. I have all of their iridescent chameleon shades right here and they look so boring in the pan but I use these constantly. I have a whole video on my iridescent multichromes which I can link in the cards for you in case you're interested to hear more about those. And then they have some pastel chameleon shadows coming that I purchased which I cannot wait. Those are on pre-order right now. I did get these particular shades sent in PR but it's gonna be my honest opinion as always. If I didn't get them in PR I would have bought them myself 100%. These retail for $70 for the bundle of six shades or you can purchase shades individually for $13 each. I do have a discount code with Terra Moons which is Amy Loves and it saves you 15% off. So now let's go ahead and do some swatches. So first we have the shade Moontide. Look at that blue shift. So pretty. This is the shadow that I have all over my lids today and I just, this shade really got me. I could not wait to use it. So from first touch it feels very very smooth and metallic and creamy to the touch. I don't know. Look at that shift, it is so beautiful. I just love a good purple blue shifting shade and I think the texture of this is so stunning. Please don't judge my little broken nail. I'm going to fix it after I finish filming this video. But there is Moontide and it is really, really pretty. Next we have the shade Orion's Belt. Ooh, again, super, super metallic. Wow, that is beautiful. Such a pretty, just bright blue, has a little bit of a green shift to it. It almost, I feel like the green shift, I don't know if you can see that right there, just a little bit as I turn it, is almost like turquoise. Wow, that is stunning. So there is Orion's Belt. Ooh. I feel like you can almost see a little bit of a purple shift there too. Gosh, that is so pretty. Yeah, it actually definitely has a touch of purple going on too. So it's like the faintest little purple shift and then like a bright blue base and also some turquoise shifting going on as well. Next is the shade UFO. This one is like pretty much like a true Barney purple. I really don't see a whole ton of shifts in this shade. It just looks very, very bright. So there is UFO. Still has a really pretty sparkly texture to it, but it, I definitely like these first two shades more. Next we have the shade Terrasphere. The more I'm disrupting the pan, the more I can see the shift in that one. So pretty. I have this popped on my lower lash line, but the lower lash line is not the ideal place to really showcase a shadow, so this swatch is just stunning. It almost, when it's facing towards me, has like this peachiness to it and then like this like light reflect going through. But then when I face forward, it is just like this really bright, vibrant, hot pink. Super pretty. Hope you can see the shift there a little bit. Next we have the shade Solstice, which looks to be a very bright orange. So I feel like, again, with this one, it is very, very bright, but I don't see all that much of a shift maybe like a little bit of yellow but it's a little bit more subtle of a shift but really really vibrant and then we have the shade radiation Ooh, this one's really smooth as well like extra smooth so it's so pretty it is so vibrant such a strong color Again, I feel like the shift that I thought would be there is definitely a lot more subtle. It's just a very, very bright green, super metallic. Ooh. Has a really pretty texture to it. 
Like you can't deny that is super metallic. So there's all the shades swatched out. I feel like they are so vibrant and bright and pigmented. I definitely have to say from first impression, my two favorite shades would be the first two that I swatched. And then beyond that, Moon Tide is the most stunning, unique shade in this collection. I think if you could only buy one, I would definitely recommend Moon Tide just because the shifts and everything on that one is so vibrant and strong and it is such a pretty purple shade. All of them are beautiful, but I feel like I thought these were going to be more duochrome, multi-chrome-esque. And they definitely look more like just super bright shades. Other than these two, and then the pink has a bit of a shift to them. But I feel like the purple, the orange, and the green are just more of a very, very vibrant color. For that reason, I'm not sure exactly how I feel about them. I think they're pretty, but they are definitely a higher price tag. I did get questions about comparing these to the Cleona Vibrant Multichromes. And I will say just right off the bat i feel like those ones are a lot more multi-chrome-esque and these are just very bright so that's the immediate difference that i see if you would still like to see a comparison between both collections let me know but let's go ahead and jump on into the demo i already primed my eyes with the anastasia eye primer and i thought it'd be fun even though we are playing with these new shadows and they're super beautiful to kind of use some more throwback items throughout this video so i'm going to go ahead and start off with my spectral eyeshadow palette from linda helberg and I actually talked about this recently in a video of some older palettes I think will be perfect for spring. So I have played with this like three times recently. So I think today I'm going to go ahead and start off with this shade right here called Eerie. And I'm going to throw that in my crease as my transition shade for this look. Definitely do feel like I need to build this shade up a little bit. Now I'm going to dip into the shade Eerie. And I'm going to start that off on my outer V. And then blend it through my crease just a little bit, just for some extra definition. Now I'm going to go back into a touch more of Eerie, the light purple, and just blend over that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and dip into the shade Unknown, this pink right here, which I actually did use as my blush today. And I really, really love that shade for blush. I'm going to grab it on a small pencil brush. I've really been liking this Kaleidos S5. It's just really tiny and it gets the shade exactly where I want it to go. So I'm going to start this shade off on my lower lash line and just really buff it out and do kind of just a soft pink layer because I'm going to go into one of the metallic shades over it, but I wanted to kind of give just something for that metallic shade to blend into. All right, for my lid, I am dying to use this shade right here called Moon Tide. I feel like that one just looks so, so special. I think I am going to go ahead and start off with my NYX Glitter Primer. I just... I always use this at this point. It's just such a good affordable product and it makes metallic application that much easier. So I'm just going to throw a little bit on the back of my hand, throw it on the lid. Same, same. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and pop that on my lid. Oh my gosh. The texture of that shadow and like little shift going on is stunning. Got just a tiny, tiny little bit of fallout. I feel so blown away by how that looks all over the lid. It looks so metallic. There's that shift going through it. I don't know if you can see the blue, but the actual texture is just so sparkly and so stunning. It's like there's like tiny, tiny, tiny micro glitters in it is what it reminds me of. It looks sparkly without looking loose, if that makes sense. It is just so beautiful. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this pink one right here called Terrasphere, which is such a cute name. I'm having that on a flat eyeliner brush. This one just happens to be from the Milk Cosmetics Amore Eternal collection, and I'm going to stamp that on my lashes, or on my lash line. I feel like you can't really see that one as much. It's not gonna really get its moment on the lower lash line, but I just thought I'd try it out. For my inner corner, I'm going to dip into one of my iridescent chameleon shadows from Terra Moons. This is Zero Gravity, and it has a purple shift. Popping that on. So beautiful. Okay, to finish up my eyes, I'm going to go into my ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Boots because it's a hot pink, and I think it'll really accentuate that lower lash line. I do find that this liner stains a little bit, but I think it's worth it because it's so pigmented, and then I'm going to use my mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, for highlighter today, I'm going to go into my Fenty Beauty Metal Moon Kilowatt Highlight. I haven't used this in forever, and I just thought I'd pull it back out for this look. If I remember correctly, I feel like I was unimpressed by this when I first got it, but the longer you wear it on the skin, the more beautiful and just like glowy and melted in it looks. So I'm just going to 
grab a little bit and pop it on the tops of my cheekbones. Definitely a little bit more of a subtle highlighter. Honestly, I feel like I could maybe use a little bit more blush, so I'm going to dip back into my palette, taking that shade Unknown. For lips today, another throwback would be my Lorac Alter Ego Lipstick in the shade Goddess. It's more of like a mauve tone. It runs a bit purple on me, which is why I never use it, but I thought I would try it with this look and just see if it works. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and just add a tiny bit. And I'm going to use my finger to blend that in. Just to give me a little bit of the mauve look without going so opaque. I'm going to grab my Fendi Diamond Milk Gloss Balm. And again, I'm just going to take like a tiny little bit of this. I'm actually going to grab it on my finger. And just going to tap that over. So this is the finished look. I really love the monochromatic purple vibes and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have not already subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my content, you want to hear more about indie brands from me, definitely make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.